STEM, the commonly known acronym that stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Four education subjects that are taught in an integrative and applied approach to help us innovate the future. But when you break it down even more, what is STEM really? If you look at its most common definition, STEM education is referred to as an interdisciplinary approach to learning where rigorous academic concepts are coupled with real-world lessons as students apply science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in contexts that make connections between school, community, work, and the global enterprise, enabling the development of STEM literacy and with it, the ability to compete in the new economy. STEM education develops today's top leaders, innovators, educators, and researchers that are changing our world each and every day. It is projected that between now and 2027, STEM jobs will grow 13%, compared to only 9% for non-STEM jobs. Since 1990, employment in STEM fields has grown 79%, from 9.7 million to 17.3 million, which vastly outpaces the overall U.S. job growth. Yet, today, according to a piece in U.S. News from August 2018, two in five people think the STEM worker shortage is severe. This is where we have to step back and ask ourselves, why is that? If there are more jobs in this field to fill than ever before, why are we as a country struggling to fill those positions? Could it be a lack of resources, lack of education, lack of interest? There are so many, it could be this. But worry not, because a handful of assiduous young Lincoln High School students aren't sitting idle and waiting to find out the reason why. Instead, they're taking action to change the way the Sioux Falls community is connecting with STEM curriculum in a way that is creating a higher interest in the field than ever before. Meet Akshay Chowdhury, founder of the first ever Sioux Falls STEM Circle. And the STEM Circle has sort of been an idea that I've had for the past few years now. Akshay, along with his co-founders Isaac Sarbacher and Sam Engabretson, felt as if the community was lacking a cutting edge, in-depth, and unorthodox way of learning more about the STEM field. As an opportunity to complement their current STEM education, what started out as a research paper quickly turned into a filled Augustana auditorium holding more than 150 community members of all ages. But let's start from the beginning. In the spring of 2018, STEM enthusiast Akshay approached his friends Sam and Isaac and said, Akshay uh, came to Sam and I and first said, let's write a paper. Uh, that's actually how this all started. And then uh, as we were working on that, he also had the idea of this math circle. And then as that evolved into the STEM circle, through we were working through Augustana for our paper. So we were also bouncing ideas for that off of our professor, Lindsay Erickson. And so his ideas with that uh, and our communication with her uh, got me into it through the paper. It's sort of modeled off of a math circle, which is a thing that a lot of universities do. It's just a monthly event where different math activities are done, and we thought that we should sort of expand that out a little bit, just to include all different kinds of fields in STEM. And after that, we sort of approached Augie's administration through uh, Dr. Erickson, who works with us on research. And so through that channel, we sort of got to meet with Dr. Homan, and after that, she really liked the idea. And ever since then, it's been more about just organizing and making sure that a lot of people know about the event, because that's ultimately what it's about, to have as many people come as possible. To break it down, the Sioux Falls STEM Circle is a pre-college enrichment program held once a month at Augustana University. The circle is open to middle school, high school, and college level students, and or anyone else who may be interested in the field of STEM. The meeting starts off with a quick introduction and is followed by a stimulating, engaging, and an out-of-the-box presentation given by some of Sioux Falls' leading STEM innovators. I've, I'm definitely more of someone who's interested in the STEM fields in terms of the future, and so I think we all kind of are in that respect. And from that, we just thought it's... We, especially us, we thought as a group that, you know, our STEM classes aren't necessarily, you know, they're sometimes a little weighty and sometimes they don't really emphasize the practical side of things. And we thought that if we could do that outside of class, that would serve as a really important 
you know, way that a lot of students, especially, you know, upper level students who want to pursue STEM fields could get a more practical and holistic education about what STEM is. Thus far, they've had leading experts in the STEM field, including Sarah Van Heisen from Raven Aerostar, Dr. Barrett Foss from the University of South Dakota, and at their most recent meeting, Dr. Barrett Eichler from Augustana University. And so a STEM career in Sioux Falls definitely looks like, um, it definitely is representative of the modern STEM career in the country, which is, you know, super innovative, looking towards problems of the future. And we saw that in our first talks with, first we had a balloon technologies expert come in and talk about her field and her work at Raven Aerostar. And then we had a biomedical technologies professor from USD come talk about tissue engineering and, you know, making, showing how we can make artificial organs in the future. And all of that amazing innovation is present here in Sioux Falls and in the area. And I think what we're trying to do is focus on that and highlight it in a manner that's really, you know, sort of accessible to the entire community, yet really interesting as well. The STEM circle seems like a lot of work for three already very busy high school students. Akshay attributes a lot of the STEM Circle's successes to their other team members, many of whom they've picked up along the way, who range in age from freshman up to senior. These other STEM fanatics oversee duties like community outreach, project coordination, getting other students who may or may not be familiar with STEM interested in attending a meeting, project design work, website work, and social media interaction. All of the things that go beyond the monthly hour-long meeting. It's been very good. We, we've been gaining followers and gaining a lot of traction on the internet. Uh, our very first tweet got over 2,200 impressions. So that's like 2,200 views. And that was like incredible to see that we're reaching that many people. Uh, and so far, our meetings uh, have been having large amounts of like attendance and people coming and it's only been increasing because of um, us being more active and more aware on social media. Increasing and gaining attention is exactly what they're doing. They recently presented their work to the Sioux Falls School Board and Executive Director of New Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Augustana University, Dr. Pam Homan, is thrilled with the work they've done so far. She said, Akshay Chowdhury and his peers, Chuck, Sam, and Francisco, are models of what it means to set a vision into action. They are entrepreneurs who demonstrate the determination, resiliency, and brilliance to establish an innovative STEM Circle program so that others might gain both awareness and new knowledge in science. Augustana University is proud to partner with these young men and provide them a place to host their programs, seek guidance when necessary, and manage their financial responsibilities. I am proud to serve this energizing team of young people. The big question we had for Akshay and company was, why? What is their why for putting all of the time and effort into getting the STEM circle up and running? Well, it's actually quite simple. These hardworking students not only have a personal passion for the STEM field in general, but a raging hunger to get other students excited about the future of STEM as well. So our, our goal with the Sioux Falls STEM Circle is to really interest high school and college level kids and even middle school level kids into those new careers. And then at the same time, we want adults to be a part of that. And then we want adults who come to our events to appreciate those different, you know, the vast variety of STEM careers that is now available. And so our main goal is to show off the really diverse fields and the many fields that we can that are accessible in Sioux Falls because ultimately especially in America you know at the rate that our job market is currently growing there are certainly more STEM careers that are opening than there are people to fill them and so we want to be a small part of that innovation and that spirit of innovation that really you know excites students so that we can get more professionals who would have the capacity to talk at a STEM circle in the future and that's our main goal is to interest the students and the public in general of Sioux Falls. Many uh, kids our age I think don't really know you know they, they take their science and their math classes in school, but you know, that's pretty groundwork kind of stuff. They don't really know, you know, where, where can I go with this? What can I do with this kind of an education? You know, what kind of job can I turn this into? What kind of a career? 
Uh, so I think exposing them to seeing this, you know, the edge of this, where it can go, like the cutting edge, uh, these professionals. Uh, for the kids, I think that's the key point of the STEM circle. And then for the adults that come to the STEM circle, I, I think it's important that they can see what's going on in their community and uh, see the ingenuity that their own community has. While the team already has three meetings under their belt, the STEM fans are constantly looking for every way they can improve their meetings to gain more and more community attraction. We're working on more ways to get feedback. Uh, a large part of it comes through the people we talk to like during the meeting and after the meeting, or after the meeting, not during, obviously. But a ton of people have been excited with you know who we're bringing in and they've been you know, excited about the topics we're bringing in. It's actually cutting edge and it's bringing these kids into these topics that they can look forward to maybe studying in the future if that's how they decide to go on the career path. Founder Akshay is currently in his senior year of high school. While he's applying for schools locally, he's also looking at schools on both the East and West Coast. So what does that mean for the future of the STEM circle? Junior Isaac Sarbacher says he and his other co-founder Sam will take over for Akshay and eventually pass down the baton to their other younger members of the team. But what do they hope the future looks like overall for the STEM circle? Uh, into the future hopefully we'll gain large crowds, uh, maybe inspire, uh, I mean if I'm thinking big picture, maybe inspire other cities to do so because you know it's a very good idea. I think Personally, I think it would be awesome if like Akshay would come back in 10 years and give a speech. <laughs> Maybe that dream of Akshay one day coming back in the future to be one of the STEM Circle speakers isn't too far-fetched. I mean, definitely. It's, yeah. a, it's an expanding job market, and I think that that's what's, you know, that's again what's so exciting about Sioux Falls, and we're just here to make sure that people know about it. I think before STEM Circle, I was like, I'm done with Sioux Falls, but like, I, I see these speakers and they have these crazy awesome jobs. I would love to stay here and work because um, there's so many interesting things and Sioux Falls has really just taken great bounds over the past years. Whatever the future of the STEM Circle and the students who run it holds, one thing is for sure. It and they will be a game changer for the STEM community in Sioux Falls.